I'm Teresa Kahi, and now I am going to discuss the particular distant examination and close physical examination of the goat's thorax. In a standing position, the goat's respiration is examined from a distance. The normal respiratory cycle is composed of three phases, namely inspiration, expiration, and pause. The respiratory rate of the goat is counted by observing the rib or nostril movement. I counted 8 breaths within 15 seconds and when multiplied by 4, the goat has 32 breaths per minute which is within the normal range of respiratory rate in goats. The movement of the respiratory depth may be reduced due to chest or diaphragm conditions or may be increased due to any type of anoxia. My goat has a normal respiratory depth because the goat did not show labored breathing, extension of head and neck, dilation of the nose, abduction of elbows, breathing through the mouth, and no increased movement in the thoracic and abdominal wall. The observed goat also has a normal respiration since there is movement of thorax and abdomen. The goat does not have abdominal type or thoracic type respiration since there is no increase in the movements of the said anatomical parts. After inspecting, I could say that the thorax symmetry of the observed goat is good since there is no movement restriction of the thoracic wall and there is no enlarged parts of the thorax. Lastly, respiratory noises such as coughing, sneezing, wheezing, snoring, grunting, and roaring should be noted as well as when these noises occur in the respiratory cycle since these noises signify abnormalities in breathing. The observed goat does not make the aforementioned noises. After doing a particular distant examination of the thorax of the goat, I conclude that my goat has a healthy and normal thorax. The examination of the thorax includes palpation, auscultation, and percussion of the heart and lung areas. To auscultate the heart properly, one must note the heart rate, heart rhythm, intensity, quality of sound, and hear any presence of abnormal heart sounds. Let's locate the elbow of the left forelimb. Here, you can feel the fourth and fifth intercostal spaces of the rib, where you can auscultate the heart properly. For 15 seconds, count the heart rate of the goat and multiply it by 4. I counted 20 beats and when multiplied by 4, I have 80 beats per minute, which is within the range of a normal heart rate for a goat. The heart rhythm is usually in three time, which is lub, dub, and pause. The lub should have a dull, deep, and loud sound, while the dub is short and soft. On the other hand, the intensity of the heart refers to the loudness or softness of the heartbeat. Here we have a normal heart rhythm and heart intensity. To check for any abnormal sounds, you can move the chest piece of your stethoscope. The first systolic or lob sound is best heard over the apex of the heart, found between the fourth and fifth intercostal spaces, while the second diastolic or dub sound is best heard over the base of the heart found in the upper intercostal spaces of the ribs. We should palpate the heart to make sure that the left side has a stronger beat compared to the right side. We could also perform a percussion of the heart to check if the heart is filled with air. The normal breath sounds can be heard over most of the lungs. It consists of a soft VF in which the F is heard during expiration. Depending on the size of the chest wall, the lung sounds can be heard with variable ease. The loudness of the sound is increased when there is dyspnea or an early pulmonary congestion and is inaudible or is decreased when there is pleural effusions. We should palpate the thoracic wall and check for any bulging, pleuritic thrills, or narrowed intercostal spaces or any kinds of abnormalities. Lastly, we can do a direct percussion of the intercostal spaces. An increased dullness could mean that the lung is edematous or it has a space occupying mass present. After performing the auscultation, palpation, and percussion, I conclude that the goat I examined has a healthy heart and lungs.